So this equation NH3 plus Cl2 gives us N2 plus NH4Cl is kind of a pain. And I'll explain my thinking as I tried to work it out. So first off, I tried to fix the nitrogens and then the chlorines. And I ended up with a weird uh, number of hydrogens. I had eight hydrogens on the reactants and then nine on the products. And it didn't seem to be really easy to fix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix the hydrogens first and then see what happens from there. So I have my three here and my four here. So if I multiply this times four, that'll give me 12. And if I multiply this by three, that'll give me 12. So let's put a coefficient of three here and four here. We've fixed the hydrogens. We now need to update the other atoms that have changed as a result. So we have one times four. So we have four nitrogens here. And then over here, we have the two plus the three. So we have five nitrogen atoms on this side. Our chlorines, we now have one times the three. So we have three chlorine atoms. All right, so it helped some, but it caused some other problems. Let's see if we can fix the chlorine atoms. When I, when I look at the chlorine atoms, I have three here and two here. Um, I, I think what I'd like to do is double this so that I'll have an even number that I can fix over here. So let's double this whole thing right here. Let's multiply it by two. So we'll put a coefficient of six in front of the ammonium chloride. So now we have one times the six here. So we have six chlorine atoms. And let's update everything else. So now I have two plus six. So I have eight nitrogens. Okay, so we have six here. We'll put a three right here. Two times the three. That'll give us that'll give us six chlorine atoms. So the chlorine atoms are fine. And now, as we look at it, we actually have to update our hydrogens as well because we have this four times the six. So we have 24 hydrogen atoms. All right, so it seems though, when I'm looking at it, 12 times two is 24 and four times two is eight. So it looks like all I need to do over here is double this number here. And let's see how that works out. So I'll put an eight in front of the ammonia, and then I'll update these numbers here. So for ammonia, I have one times eight. That gives me eight of those. Well, that's kind of nice. That's balanced. And then three times eight, that gives us 24. So we've ended up balancing this somewhat cumbersome equation. Uh, the way I ended up doing it was to resolve the hydrogen atoms first. And after I did that, then I could fix the other ones. I doubled the three for the chlorine so that I had an even number, and that was easy to fix here. And the nitrogens just kind of fell into place as well. Um, that's it. That's the balanced equation for NH3 plus Cl2 yields N2 plus NH4Cl. You may have a better way of doing it. Um, this is how I did it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.